So imagine this, a workplace culture where doing what your job description says and only that, nothing else, is considered enough. No more going above and beyond. No more trying to impress the boss. That is the premise behind the latest workplace trend taking over TikTok. This is called quiet quitting, okay? A lot of Gen Zers say they are here for it. They're saying no hard no to burnout and instead focusing more on that work-life balance, eluding a lot of us. Joining me now to discuss this new trend is Dr. Shannon Wasley, campus director of the Office of Placement and Training at the Chicago School of Professional Psychology. Can't believe we're talking about a concept called quiet quitting. This is just fascinating. I know to a lot of people, what's really at the heart of this? Is the pandemic to blame? Tell us. I think the pandemic definitely exacerbated the situation, but what we're looking at is is ongoing burnout that and quiet quitting is not a new concept. I just think we've really given it a strong name so that we can uh, better discuss it. And when it comes to young people, a lot of them are saying, you know, they feel like work has taken over too much of their life. They want more of that personal life, that family relationship. I'd have to imagine there's a, is there a better, healthier way to do it than just doing the bare minimum at work? Yes, quiet quitting is a is kind of a conflict avoidance and passive reaction, and it doesn't solve the problem. Whereas if you are more of a self-advocate, talk to your team, talk to your manager, you can start a dialogue that can really diagnose problems in the workplace and then get back to solving them for everybody there, not just the one employee. And yeah, definitely. So maybe there are other options out there, but people think that this is essentially the antidote for the overworked. Is, is that true? I mean, does this just maybe lead you even feeling not fulfilled professionally when you know you're doing the bare minimum at work? Sure, it can. It may provide some temporary relief, but we will likely see the trend that it causes dissonance in the employee who does want to grow in their own position and then loses out on those opportunities because they're doing the minimum and, and aren't engaging with their workplace the way that somebody might if they want to continue to grow and learn other aspects of the um, job in their career. You know, last thought here, TikTok is making any trend seem cool and seem, you know, worthy of, of hopping on, if you will. What role did that play? Like, do you think if, if this wasn't all over TikTok, is this something that would have still spread through workplaces? You know, I doubt it. I have to say social media, it's like I said, this is not a new concept, but a new name. And I think social media allows us to have these conversations on a larger platform and quicker and we get more um, audience. So I think that social media definitely plays a role in the way this is burning through. All right, well, we'll see how it all continues to play out with these Gen Zers. Dr. Wellesley, thank you so much. Appreciate it. The concept of quiet quitting, who knew? Thank you. <laughs>